Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna use these cute little five by seven boxes and we are gonna decorate them up with some fun decoupage, transfers, paint, and we're gonna make these projects. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my five by seven blank and these are my IOD wood blanks. You could take just a board, anything that looks like a frame and put a back on it so you have some depth. And I am going to paint it an off-white. This color is actually called crinoline and it's my DIY paint. So let's just let this dry and then we'll get started with the next part. So for this one, I'm gonna use these birds and you can see they came from this Iron Orchid Design Transfer and it's called Brocante. So what I did is I transferred it onto a piece of cardstock. So it would be a little more heavy duty, but you could just find a fun image and print it out on the cardstock and get the same result. So then what you're gonna do next is you're going to cut around the outside edges of all of this. So all you have is your birds in your branch on cardstock. So this is what you're gonna get after you've cut it out. For this one, what I'm gonna do is cut this branch right here. I'm gonna keep it. I am gonna glue this to the front, glue this to the back. What I'm gonna do is put some, some washi tape just on the back. It'll give me a little more leverage. And fold that back. And we're gonna use some hot glue on the edge of this and even on this tape. Same with this, this is gonna go behind. So I have washi tape on the back side of the birds and, and it's sticky facing up. And same with this, and the sticky facing up. So I'm gonna put a little rim of hot glue right there. Now I'm gonna put a little more on this washi tape. And you can see how nicely that stays. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom. I'm gonna put a tiny rim right there where this wood is. Turn it over and I'm gonna put a little bit more on this piece of tape and wrap it around and it should stay nice and secure. If you wanted to make this very, very simple, you wouldn't even cut it apart and you would just use the branch they're already on. I just thought this was very, very cute and I wanted to add a little extra. And there you go. And that part is going to be across this board. Okay, so I'm gonna add some trees in the background. So this is the paper I'm using and I'm gonna cut a couple of these branches out and put them on real sticks. Glue him right there. And you could use regular glue or hot glue for this. I'm just gonna very carefully without ripping this paper, just bring my leaves forward, my scissors. And all I'm really doing is more of a zigzag motion. It doesn't look like I'm just doing a straight cut where these branches are. So for this one, I think I'm gonna cut it down the center carefully where the stem is. Glue half of it in here, and then the other half I'm gonna decoupage to the outside of here. So I'm just gonna use a little Mod Podge. Let's do the one on the inside first. And I'm just laying it against the edge of the frame here. I know the top of this is gonna to go to the very top of the frame there. I'm just gonna hot glue this stick in, and you could use a tacky glue. I just happen to have my hot glue out still. I'm gonna add a little snow to the ground, and this is actually just a real cotton bowl. I'm gonna put that in. I cut another little sprig, and I'm going to attach it to this one more, one more little piece of stick. And when you're doing this, you can decide what elements and what you really like and what you wanna do. I am giving you just some ideas of taking these cute little boxes and just adding different elements and coming up with a fun little unique piece of art. So you can see the different layers there. 
Okay, so before I put the rest of this together, if I'm gonna do any distressing or antiquing, I probably need to do that now. I could have even done that before my branches were on, but I'm also gonna be antiquing those. So I'm gonna use my vintage photo and get it very wet. So I can move this ink around, even distressing my leaves and my branches. I'm just gonna use some gray ink on my crackle stamp and just go around. And if you want to, you could use a little crackle inside of here. This is gonna be a little harder to do on this one because I already have all my elements in. Carefully add a tad bit of crackle to this. This was a piece from the figgy pudding and it was part of a, just part of a white vine transfer that I put onto some cardstock. And I've cut that out. I'm gonna glue this right up in here. And this is just my Mod Podge once again. I'm gonna stamp Merry Christmas onto some paper and put that in the corner. I'm gonna cut it out and we're gonna Mod Podge that onto the other corner. I can now hot glue this onto this board, let this ink dry. And this stamp was from my Merry and Bright Christmas stamp. Okay, I'm gonna get my gloss spray and I'm, I want this to be glossy, so I'm gonna spray this. And while it's still wet, I'm gonna put some really pretty mica glitter on it. And I'm gonna use my acrylic, this is just an Aileen's acrylic gloss sealer finish. And while it's still wet, we are going to add bits of glitter everywhere. And there we go, and we're gonna let this dry. Wasn't this fun? You can see how I use some of these concepts on some of these other ones. But we tried to combine some of these ideas, use them in the different boxes with different elements. I would love to see what you guys do and what you can come up with, but whatever you do, have fun.